Thank you, sir. And you see that. You're going to follow us on the program. Dear beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Robert and Malina, to ask of his blessing upon them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself was a guest at the wedding of Khan of Galilee, and through his spirit we believe he's here with us now. The scripture teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of his grace, a holy mystery in which a man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves together in love through their lives they shall be united in love as christ is united with his church marriage is also given that a husband and wife may comfort and help each other living faithfully together in need and plenty in sorrow and in joy it is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union they may be blessed by having children and be blessed in caring for them and bringing them up according to his will and glory this is the way of life hallowed by god that robert and malina will be joined in holy matrimony they will give their consent to each other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows. And as a token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. But first, I'm required by the law to ask if there is anybody here who knows the lawful reason why Robert should not be joined together with Malina you may say it now or forever hold your peace. Usually we allow the brother-in-law to come in and hand over, but dad has already done that. And he has already unveiled his daughter to Robert. So I'll just go straight to the vows you're about to make, Melina, and are to be made in the name of God, who is the judge of all knows all the secrets of our heart you too if you know any lawful reason why you should not get married to each other from that entrance marvelous entrance to here you can declare it now and i can stop and i'll be ever crying die <laughs> you can declare it now oh forever hold your peace let me ask who gives this beautiful bride away to Robert Kayanja, Osborne Frederick. Her mother and I. The mother and, and you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Robert, do you take Malina to be your wife? Will you love him, her, comfort her, honor her, and protect her, forsake all others, and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. I've been waiting people for 40 years. <laughs> 
This is the biggest I do I've ever had. <laughs> Malina, do you take Robert to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and protect him? Forsake all others and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. That is another one million dollar I do. I, Robert, take you, Malena, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow to you that I pledge forever and ever. Marlena, take you, Robert, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy law, and this is my solemn vow to you. They also have their own vows, which they have come up with, or what they believe. So this juncture, I'm gonna give them a microphone so that they may their own vows. The gentleman who has walked away, and the other one on the extreme end, that is the lady of honor for Malina, and that is Robert's best friend. They went to college together. And uh, um, Mr. Devon and uh, is the son of that great pastor seated over there. Is his best man. Rob, a little over two years years ago, I boarded a plane to Entebbe that would change my life forever. The moment I stepped off that plane and embraced you for the first time in what felt like a lifetime, I felt I was home. You are my home. You are my safe space, my best friend, my never-ending supporter, my representation of Jesus' heart for me here on earth. And I'm incredibly humble as I stand here in front of you because I know everything in me, God's specifically orchestrated this moment even before we were knit in our mother's wombs. We have walked through many challenges and have rejoiced in many victories, but I want you to know that this is a love I have for you is not just a feeling. It is a choice and a promise I am prepared to make every single day. I choose to love you and only you for the rest of my life without a pause, without a doubt, and in a heartbeat, no matter what is thrown our way. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to help carry your calling, dreams, and ambitions as my own as we work to fulfill God's greater purpose. I promise to uplift you in the hardships and rejoice with you in our victories. I promise to be a prayerful wife and mother as we begin our own family fully devoted to the Lord. And I promise to always make your favorite grilled cheese sandwiches whenever you come home from a long day. Yeah. Rob, it is my greatest honor and calling from fully love you, 
completely give myself to you on this day and lay down my life to you for as long as we both shall live. Thank you for the way you have pursued my heart and have given me a greater understanding of God's love for me. Watching my parents for many years taught me that it's more than just a vow. You make a covenant with the person you choose to marry. And the greatest covenant I know for an example is the one God made with Abraham. And I want to repeat this to you, as simple as it is, that I promise with more than 150% of everything I have, I'll be a devoted, devoted God-fearing, loving, leading husband. And I promise that as we both chose to pursue God together, I'll continue to pursue your heart, continue to be faithful, continue to love you. And I promise everything in my being that I will love you, protect you, guide you, and cherish your heart just like God does. That is so beautiful. You have to pray for me, otherwise I'm about to Thank you. He has found the love of his heart. Now I'm going to ask the mothers, the mothers, Mama Malina and uh, Mama Robert, to come up here and bless these rings. If there is anybody attached to children, it is the mothers. Because they carry them in the womb. And for Robert, for us, it was a miracle. Melina is a miracle because we waited for him for five years. We couldn't have children. Jessica couldn't. We waited for five years. We prayed for five years. He's an altar kid. So I'm going to ask Pastor Jessica to come up here and Mama Melina to come up here and place these rings. Come on, give a hand clap to the mothers in law. You are standing there, fantastically dressed. You should be given an award. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of Malina and Robert. We thank you because your word says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor in your sight. We decree and declare that this is the beginning of a new era for them. And we have ascertained certain for sure that Malina is a good thing because of your word. And today, Lord, even as Pharaoh handed down a ring to Joseph, at the early dispensation of his life. We know that today, Malina and Robert walk into something new, walk into something powerful, and walk into something glorious as well. And Father, even as the prodigal son was given a ring by his father when we came home, when he came home, we believe that this ring is a symbol of rejoicing in heaven, that angels are glorifying you for what is happening. And today, even as they wear this ring, we make a declaration. Father, that you will bless them in the city 
and in the field. That you will bless them in the coming in and in the going out. That you will bless the fruit of their womb. That you will bless their cattle, their sheep, and everything their hands measure to do. That you will cause them to lend to many nations. And Father, that they will never borrow. That they will walk according to your word in Isaiah 45. That you will go before them and make the crooked places straight. That you will break asunder the bars of iron and the bars of brass. That you will show them the hidden treasures of darkness and the hidden wealth of secret places. And Father, that loins of kings will be loosened for their sake. Father, we seal them with your blood. Satan will warn you that you have no hold over them. And anything you might have assigned to tamper with them has been rendered helpless and ineffective. Father, you have promised in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 that you would be a wall of fire around us. Be a wall of fire around Robert and Malina so that everything that pursues them will fall into the consuming fire. Father, even as your word says, no weapon forged against them shall prosper. And every tongue that has risen against them in judgment is already condemned because that is their inheritance. Father, may they be blessed, Lord. Give them a blessing, Heavenly Father, that because we know that your word is certain that the household of the righteous shall be blessed. Again, I declare that there is no witchcraft against Israel. There is no divination against Jacob. And any of the orchestrations of the enemy, I render now and void right now. I declare the glory of God. I say that they will go forth in power. I say that they will go forth in honor. I say that they will go forth rejoicing and with testimony. May there be open baskets in their house. May their house be filled with fruit. May they see boy children and may they see girl children and may they stand to serve you all the days of their lives. In the name of Jesus we have prayed. Father God, we come to you in the name of the precious Lord Jesus and we thank you for everything that Pastor Jessica just prayed for. Every one of the wonderful, wonderful blessings and covenant promises, we as our family members also totally agree, Father. And we thank you, Lord, again for these rings. And we know that these rings are a sign and a symbol because they are a circle. And a circle never ends. And Father God, this is a beginning that will never end, Father. The love that is between these two will never end. And we thank you and we praise you for that. It is also gold and it is also diamonds and it is precious stones and it symbolizes very, very deep meaning. The meaning of gold and, gold and precious stones. And as they wear it, the meaning that their union is precious in your sight, Father. It is gold, it is more precious than diamonds, Father, because Jesus is more precious than diamonds. And our son, your son Jesus, died on the cross for them, Father. We thank you and we praise you for these rings, Lord. And Father, we just build an altar today, an altar before you. And we thank you, Father, from where they've come and where they are right now, where we all are. We thank you for everything that you have done to bring us to this point. We build an altar, Father. And we thank you for your provision, for your safety, for your peace, for every one of the promises that Jessica just prayed for, Lord, because we have seen those promises up until this point, and we declare today that we will continue to see those promises. And as we've built this altar, Lord, this is an altar that maybe the flame will come and go a little bit, and maybe a little bit of the smoke will come and go, but it will never die out. Because these two will always keep an altar in their hearts to remember your unwavering goodness, your unwavering peace, your unwavering provision, and they will always remember, again, that they are redeemed from the curse of the law, from all poverty, sickness, and death, and that your holy angels are everywhere camped round about them, just like the angels' wings that we see in this building right now. All over every one of those, um, every one of those those uh, podiums and things in this building, they're like angels' wings, and we thank you, Father, for those angels' wings because they are kept round about this incredible couple. We give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give you. And all that I have to share with you, within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. rupture and redemption. By offering the Lord's Supper, Robert and Malina are testifying that they have both accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and shall together in a hope and love wait for the rupture. They have examined their hearts and found faith in God and they now come pledging their faithfulness together in love to each other. With God's grace and love by His Spirit, they now begin their lives together realizing that the cross contradicts their sense of worthlessness and gives them hope which they can respond to in His love. Matthew 26 verse 26 to 29 reads, And as they were eating, our 